Well, they are prepared to spring into action with no warning at all. Firefighters willing to put it all on the line for people they don't even know. The fire service has experienced many changes through the years, yet their goal has remained the same, to save lives. Craig Colson begins our look at a unique breed of professional in part one of In the Line of Fire. It's a high adrenaline rush. Uh, when you enter a building that's on fire, the heat and the smoke, uh, you hold your hand an inch from your face piece, you can't see it. Uh, you get goosebumps from being hot. Uh, so you can, it's, it's, I mean, everybody's just quivering and shaking all over. What does it take to be a firefighter, to put yourself in harm's way in order to save a stranger? For many at the Bangor Fire Department, it's something in their blood. The earliest I can remember, I've always been wanting to be a firefighter. Matt Costello isn't alone. He says he thrives on the unpredictability of the job. I enjoy it. It's, it's an interesting field. Uh, every shift is is different or every call I should say is there's no two calls that are the same uh, and it's just the challenge that's out there. You... But why would someone risk their life on a regular basis? Most people are taught to leave a burning building immediately but not these people. Think of it as a competition so to speak, us against the fire, or us against uh, you know trying to outthink where the fire is going. You don't think about it at the time, because if you thought about it, you'd probably stay back on the truck or whatever, or kind of wonder, what am I doing here? You... But despite the training, the good intentions, it doesn't always end the way they want. And the latest one for me in particular was the French Street fire. That was, we, this crew here was on that fire, and that hit home to a lot of us, because a lot of us have kids in that age group. And... Costello was talking about the tragic blaze that claimed the lives of seven-year-old James Brown Jr. and his three-year-old sister, Amanda. Firefighters say they try to separate themselves from their personal feelings, but they're human too. It isn't always easy. You, you just try to distance yourself as you can and, and you try to make it as impersonal as you can. If you, try, if you look at the face and you relate them to your own kids, then you're in trouble. Over the next couple of nights, we'll take a close look at these professionals. We'll learn how the fire service has changed from the days of the old iron lung. And we'll join crews inside a home as it's consumed by flame. Craig Colson, Channel 5 News, Bangor. Tough job. Glad yeah. we can do that.